Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy, the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, I've got a refrigerator question here. This comes in from Danny Estray. He says, my question has to do with the outside of my Dometic fridge. It freezes so that it's not cooling. He says, the situation is, uh, how does he stop his fridge from freezing outside? The outside of his fridge is freezing because it's sub-zero temperatures. All right, <clears throat> here's the situation. He's got his RV. He's got an absorption-style refrigerator. Absorption-style refrigerator, Dometic. And he says the outside, the cooling coils, uh, are actually freezing because it's sub-zero temperatures. All right. So inside those cooling coils, the whole reason of why we have those cooling coils or the whole chemical reaction that we're having there is there is ammonia in there and then there's hydrogen. And that ammonia is in a liquid form. We heat it up in order to separate the ammonia from the liquid form or the, the ammonia from the water. So we have a vaporized ammonia that actually flash freezes once the it hits the hydrogen. So we get this volatile exchange, boom. Well, what's going on is his coils are so cold, so cold he doesn't have any cooling operation in his refrigerator. And I suspect the reason why that is is because the coils are so cold that ammonia can't vaporize, right? That ammonia can't vaporize. This is true for all absorption-style refrigerators. The colder it is, the less effective they are. It just simply don't work because we're trying to heat up that ammonia, turn it into a vapor in order for it to make a strong ammonia solution to mix with the hydrogen, okay? If the coils are so darn cold, that ammonia does kind of separate and separates a little bit from the water, but then it cools off as it travels up the pipes. So you gotta find a way to try and keep those pipes warm. So the one thing I could suggest, uh, first and foremost, you know, of course, and I know people get mad, move. You're in an RV and it's sub-zero temperatures. Move. Um, secondly is, um, if you can, try not to run it on propane because what I'm going to ask you to do is limit the airflow inside. Okay? If you actually use electric, uh, then maybe you can put a little buffer in there. You just want to try to do something that you can to prevent too much cold air from going in there. Now, I do not recommend... I do not recommend putting any type of insulation there or anything else because, of course, those coils do get really warm do get really hot and I don't want to add, I don't want you to add anything. So I'm just saying where you have your access port, piece of cardboard, something like that, half of it. See if that will help out. Uh, um, an old school incandescent light bulb, set that down on the bottom again on the electric side, uh, not necessarily propane. Now, if you have to use propane, you also have to be aware that there has to be enough airflow for that propane to go in because you have a flame. Okay. But again, what you're trying to do is just limit the amount of cold air uh, that this is uh, being uh, provided to. So um, uh, 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 a little lamp or something like that may help out. Maybe a heat lamp to go inside there. But all you're trying to do is prevent all that super cold air from going in there. So that way you can have the proper heat exchange. Now, if it's sub-cold temperatures... One thing you can also do is get yourself an ice chest, put your food outside in the ice chest. I know that sounds flippant, but you know, you're in the situation that you're in, right? It's super cold outside. You're in an RV, you have an absorption style refrigerator, right? That back there is a, a chemical exchange that's taking place and it has to get hot enough, okay? So make sure you don't have any fans back there. You're trying to keep that place warm, but you're trying to keep it open so that there can be airflow. And if you can achieve it that way, no heated blankets, nothing, nothing physical back there. You want that airflow. You want nothing touching those coils. All you're trying to do is just get some warm air in there, okay? If you can get some warm air in there somehow, light bulb, probably the perfect way of doing that. Try that out. See if that will help keep that ammonia um, going through its full cycle. Best of luck. And there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're out there in the video, Roll the bloopers. Wow, it's even already got like a picture there showing the, you know, has to do when the outside of my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. 
Let's try this again. My question has to do, it's talking about his refrigerator. <laughs> Let's do this again. So here's the situation. He's got his absorb. You know, if I had glasses, I could probably read that. Of course, you have this, you have your, uh, um, hey, Mike, how you doing up there? 